Hello everyone and welcome back to IT Master Tech News channel. As you know from my previous video I got the Redmi 20 Cape from the China which came with the Chinese firmware in it and I make a video of unboxing and then make a video of how to unlock bootloader to be prepared for the global firmware installed. And if you remember mine was the carbon black color you can see the whole glory of this color it has a, this carbon finish inside the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and I really like my device today finally I have managed to install the global firmware and I will share with you uh, how it performs and what we have new inside and will be detailed menu walkthrough so everyone will know the different uh, difference between the Chinese and global version. Let's check real quick that we have the global version. As you can see, is MIUI Global 10.3.6. Here is the device name Mi Phone and model number. If you can notice here, it's Mi 9T instead of Redmi K that was previously in the Chinese firmware. Android security patch level 2019 May 1st MIUI version MIUI global 10.3.6 table at this point this one is the uh, latest available for global market the rest is the CPU octa-core and then RAM 6 GB internal storage is 47.5 available from the 64 GB that's it let's move back so main difference uh, that I noticed and I missed from the Chinese firmware is when you go to left side you here you will not find the step counter. The Chinese version of the firmware has the step counter inside which was very useful and you can see how many steps you take and how many kilometers you walk or run. This is the main major difference that I noticed uh, and wanted to mention in this video. The other things in the global version, you will get all Google apps pre-installed already in the firmware. You will have YouTube, Gmail, Google Now, Play Music, Duo, which is not supported anymore by Google and I don't know why it's appearing here. Play Market is pre-installed already. You will get this security thing which is also available in Chinese uh, firmware and the dialer everything is same besides that you are getting the Google Chrome pre-installed already uh, compared with the Chinese version. Other side is uh, just a file manager you have that music me video and the no Chinese stuff here it's pre-installed Facebook and VPS office. So I have installed this, some of my other applications and the uh, most uh, major uh, thing that compared with the Chinese uh, global version is that global version GPS tracking is working much better in my region in the Middle Eastern Europe side of the world and I sure I'm sure that it will be the same if you live in US. The Chinese one was uh, laggy and uh, uh, detected my position or my GPS location very uh, slow and has a lot of problems. But this one is automatically detecting where you are, uh, bringing the weather information. So that's the four uh, differences. Let's go to the dig inside the menu and see uh, what we have here from up to down the about phone part I covered already system updates when you can go and it's automatically checking if there is a new update available but at this point as I said 10.3.6 is the latest one so there is no updates so we are going back device name 
this part I already covered going systems app updater this is uh, what the system app is uh, the content that came pre-installed with the uh, system firmware inside and if there is uh, any updates you will see here I already done so that's why it's not available security status is find device on security update this is the uh, latest uh, Google patch and Google Play Protect which is uh, letting you not download malware things that will be uploaded in the Play Market SIM card mobile networks this device is coming with two SIM cards no micro SD card for this time mobile data for your internet dual 4G for both SIMs you can have a 4G connection which is really nice before this uh, and other devices that I have it was impossible only one of them you can use as a 4G and then uh, Wi-Fi as usual you know Bluetooth portable hotspot data usage is like for you can make the see the which uh, application in how much data is using so you can restrict that under the more we are covering airplane airplane mode vpn bluetooth tethering wireless display nfc i just turned off because i am not using it here is the display part display uh, as you know the display is uh, oled display and it's pretty bright I really like it uh, although that they said it's not a Samsung display but it's really really good with colors and with brightness brightness level you can set automatic but I don't like that and just keep it off so I'm setting my brightness manually night mode brightness and night mode color temperature this is for the night mode if you turn it on reading mode is like if you turn on it will get screen little yellowish so your eyes will not be hard during the reading time okay ambient display ambient display is all about uh, always on display similar like the samsung does and you can choose a, a lot of types of ambient displays like this like this having like this there was a, this robot i really like it so different kind of ambient display and this one is default if we uh, turn on there is a schedule as well so turn on at 7 turn off on. so if we go there and just put it uh, this way let me see why it's not came maybe because of the schedule okay ambient display yeah it's because of this okay if we go back we will see the ambient display which is always shows the battery life and the what time is it time is not correct because there is no sim card and it cannot detect so moving forward we were in the display part let's turn off the ambient display and dark mode is a certain display that's compatible with dark mode it will make the all everything in dark like uh, all kind of blacks and you will have these uh, writings on white but i don't like so don't move there text size as usual you can choose small smaller and uh, put the xxl if you have a that kind of problem double tap to wake screen i like it auto rotate screen and that i keep the off raise to wake screen because i don't like that function wallpapers wallpapers everyone knows there is a pre-installed type of wallpapers this is coming by default and then you can choose a lot of them so you can see how nice is the screen everything is very nice this one is good so let's apply and set both okay and there is other wallpapers you can download from the store or you can add your custom wallpapers themes themes are the default by default this is a uh, theme and this is the xiaomi's miui 
best feature I really like. And there are two pre-installed themes and you can push the find more and it will go to uh, team store and bring you a lot of other teams. You can look at them before you can you want to install them. You will see the preview how you like them or you don't so you can download for free and coming back we are having the sound and vibration here which is the ringer volume and then alarm volume and the media volume so this here you can choose the ringtones, messages, calendar sounds, default notification sound and uh, you will have a vibration for the calls or uh, vibration vibrate on top you can choose medium strong dial pad tones tap sounds screen lock sounds screenshot sounds and delete sound which is turned off for my device under lock screen and password there is a manage fingerprints you can choose many fingerprints to add. Add face data is uh, just when you add a face unlock the pop-up camera will come up so your device will be unlocked. Sleep after 30 seconds this is uh, the I like. I don't like the more or less. Wake lock screen for notifications. This is in case you receive notifications and your phone is turned off. It will wake up. Launch camera, you can put a uh, press volume down twice to launch camera, some kind of shortcuts. Under advanced settings are uh, show all notifications. Settings doesn't uh, on screen look. I usually put show all notifications, but hide context. Unlocked with Bluetooth device, it is the case when you have a Bluetooth Mi Band or Mi Watch, you can check from your phone and unlock your device pocket mode is lock touch gestures when placed in the pocket really good feature let it keep turned on and then that's it going back notification and status bar this is the app notifications you can set which not which app which type of notification will keep you not sure notification icons this is the when they if there is a notification it they will be available in the left corner but i don't like it connection speed is about the internet speed of the if you put the sim card mobile you will see the internet speed here as you can see zero kilobyte show carrier where device is locked this is the your mobile carrier and you can edit career name wherever you want Battery indicator, percentage, graphical and top bar, but I like the percentage which is inside of the battery and this is really cool. Notification shade, show on lock screen, that's a good. And uh, collapse after touch, when you touch the notification it will collapse down. Home screen and recent. Default launcher is the system launcher by MIUI, which I really like it. And no need any other launchers. And up vault is about the thing that I was showing you the on the left side. This is the up vault. Actually, you can turn off and don't have this there. And uh, there is a fill cells of uninstalled apps. This is good when you something uninstalled it automatically another app will come and fill the that empty cell lock on screen layout this is as you know a lot of devices have this function show memory status when you hit this button and then go this way it will show you that 3.6 gigabyte of your 6 GB RAM available this is about this guys so you can turn it off show suggestions this is also by your choice Full screen display. Full screen display is the alternative of the buttons. The buttons when you have this bag and standard Android buttons, but I like the full screen display, which is working with the gestures like iPhone X or the 
latest devices and any other new Android devices. Second space is like you have a both uh, like two WhatsApps, two Vibers, you can have different numbers, different users, which I don't uh, really use and cannot tell uh, more about this. Battery and performance. The use adaptive battery is the limiting the adapt uh, battery for the apps that you are not using, so they will not run in background and drain your battery. Storage. This is the total available for 64, 47 and 47 half, uh, nearly 47.5 GB. And here is shown which type of things, how many uh, megabyte they are using. System storage is 8.64, which means the MIUI of this device running that much. Emergency source is rapidly, you can set the uh, this on and power button rapidly play five press five times and uh, source text message will with your location and your emergency contacts will be sent google you know that this is all about your google account and all google policies and other things under additional settings date and time languages region Privacy, Enterprise Mode, a lot of other things that usually covered in under additional settings. The Developer Mode is also usually an under additional settings if you have enabled that. Me Account is like the, your account, like iCloud or the other Samsung accounts, Xiaomi is using his own uh, account system. Synchronization is how to sync data on Wi-Fi only. You can put this and uh, it will not use your uh, mobile data. And the uh, cloud and the Google account synchronization. System app settings, you can put here again what type of apps, what they can use, which features they can not use, and etc. Manage apps, here you can install and uninstall the apps besides the, those ones that included in the uh, bundle of the firmware, you can put this uninstall and it will show the list of the apps which can, can be uninstalled. The other ones, uh, it's not possible to uninstall because they came with this phone and they should be stayed there. Dual apps, the thing I already told you, it's about second space. Permissions, here you give the different type of permissions, which ones can auto start and run in background, which one have a different type of uh, like uh, privacy settings, access camera, contacts, location, you can set for every application. App lock, you can lock any app and nobody cannot access even they took your phone and open your phone for your uh, devices you can set the applications and uplock will ask you password before the this application will be opened and the finally is the feedback you can put your feedback for the xiaomi team that's it guys that's what i wanted to share and the camera is really nice it has a 1x 2x zoom and there is a 06 wide angel lens so as you can see it shows the wide angel and that's it at the end we can see the how uh, face uh, front facing camera is working yes and it's really nice that's it guys, stay well, stay cool, hit subscribe button, like button if you like my videos and uh, help me to reach 1000 subscribers. Thanks for your uh, all likes and subscribe subscriptions and uh, stay well, stay cool, see you in the next video, bye bye.